Well, hi everyone. I'm coming out in the middle of a hellacious thunderstorm. <laughs> Unreal. But happy Feast of Trees. Wow. And uh, there was a video over on Twitter of uh, them planting trees over there for their feast day. I thought that was pretty cool. Along with several other interesting little videos. Oh my, I left a poll in the community. I couldn't believe, I don't watch TV anyways, but my goodness, Jesus warns us in the last days, really, deception is so high right now. Um, my goodness, look at the just amazing things we find out when we come together and we work as a team. You know, we all have different portions. We all have eyes in different places. We all receive things in different ways. I remember the Lord showing me a vision a few weeks ago of like an egg separator kind of thing, you know, and I look like I remember saying that in a live. Um, and then the time when I went out fishing for whether or not we had products on the shelves and I was told to like stock up on laundry detergent and things like this and then we find out and then you gotta connect the dots during all this stuff too, right? It's like why is everything on sale? You no, know, I'm sure it's the grace of God um, saying stock up while you can. And just like the pasta, remember? It was for needing the warmth on our bodies for the dark, cold winter. Um, the, the things that I've heard in my spirit and in dreams and visions and the things I go back on, I'm so humbled. Um, I can't believe I even, and sometimes ask Daddy, why do you even show me these things, right? Um, and I warned a few people then, and then at the last Saturday night, we find out that some things were like, you know, way up there in price. And since then, we've learned about, okay, how excellent they are in the first place, right? <laughs> um, and, and, and how kind of suddenly fast they disappeared. But it was like a trickling thing on the things that they were feeding them. Who, the who, you gotta know all those things, follow the money, follow the trail. Then they gotta figure out the why. And then all of a sudden, you know, you walk into the stores that we normally walk into to, to pick up one of their roasted chickens for dinner and they're gone. <laughs> to be no more. Um, kind of crazy kind of stuff along with the uh, price of and then knowing what's in it. But I've also been noting, noticing little shiny particles of things in other products as well. I think the Lord is talking. So I'm gonna be leaving a whole bunch of videos underneath. And then thinking about, uh, you know, when I say thinking, I'm, I'm usually talking to daddy. You know, think about it. Really, seriously, that's a, by balloon? Well, what's this by now when it's got satellites? I mean, some things just make sense. Could it be, well, a fear trigger and or testing one, two, three, <laughs> you know, for, for something else. But don't forget there's no fear in Jesus and all of these things have to come to pass. And God is in control whether he allows it or not for his glory, for his story, for what reason. Just learn to trust, lean back, and just know he's got this, and he's got us, and he's not gonna let us go, my goodness. We're his bride. There's nothing that can separate us from his love. There's nothing that can pluck us out of his hand. You know, we are sealed until the day of, of redemption. We need to believe on Jesus. I mean, it's faith that he's looking for when he returns. Now, 
certainly not what we've done, what we've said, how we've acted. Thank goodness for that. And thank goodness for grace. And times are pretty tough for a lot of people right now. Men's hearts are failing for what they see coming. As well as hearts are waxing cold. And at the same time, we're seeing the pouring out of the Holy Spirit. And we're seeing that move across the world, literally. I mean, don't you think over there where the volcanoes that were pretty big the other day, how horrible that was, and the location that they were in as well, and killed many. You know, and then Fukushima being out there, 311, and then we had a 911, and that was a 711. I don't know, there, there's just no such thing as a coincidence. <laughs> now we've come uh, so full circle, seriously, if we think about it. And then I was thinking about, I don't know, you, you, you know how it is when you, whoops, there went our power, whoop, went back on. Oh, there's power in the name of Jesus. <laughs> okay, <laughs> live on camera. <laughs> Not that you saw it, but you got my reaction. Anyway, so it was cool. Okay, so knowing that all these things are coming to pass, and Jesus warns us in the very last days not to be deceived. There's so much out there causing deception. I mean, Israel is where we need to keep our eyes. Jesus is where we need to keep our eyes, as well as those of us who are watching. Okay, for Titus 2.13, call us home, up, up hither, but also, you know, the walls of the enemy and what's happening, what's in the food, all these things, and, you know, it's not so simple as just praying over things anymore, it's being wise as serpent and gentle as does, <laughs> it's like you gotta pick your food apart, just about, um, but, our God, okay? He'll keep us healthy. There's a reason for everything. Oh, yes, we were on the laundry detergent when somebody talked to me about bleach and how much it was. It was like, oh, okay. Disinfectant purposes, um, you know, thinking about cleaning purposes, um, just all kinds of things, you know. They're, they've got to take everybody and kind of control them somehow. And, and what's happening with our purple lights on the side of the road and and putting the metal in our bodies that don't have the metal in our bodies already, if you can catch my drift, <laughs> um, would be, you know, one way of finding out that in which cause we're not going to be here either. Remember, we are not called to wrath. The Lord said that he would be here for us in our time of trouble. Uh, all who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. I will, hand, I will answer. We take no thought for tomorrow. There's so many scriptures that we just really need to lean on. We need to plug into him. He needs to be our our current, our electric charge and because that spark you know, starts that fire within us. And I'm just amazing how good he is and how good he is all the time. And how he shows us how good he is. As we pray for one another, encourage one another, remind each other that yes, he is coming. Look around us. How dark this world is, how strange we're just passing through. Pilgrims. <laughs> All the pilgrim dreams we had, pioneer days, oh my goodness. Oh, all coming to pass. Cray, isn't it? It's kind of bizarre, actually. Uh, in a cool sort of way, seeing the Bible alive has been amazing. It's better than any Hollywood movie could have created it to be and to be alive for a time just like this. And I was thinking about death, that's what it was. I'm thinking, you know, 
I don't think Jesus was talking about when he was talking about the wages of sin is death. It's in a physical death. You're not going to be punished by death because there's sin in your life. Um, that's a trick of the enemy and a lie. It's that separation from God eternally for not believing on him, admitting that you need a savior, believing that Jesus died on the cross for you, rose again on the third day, and confess with your mouth that he is Lord, and all who call upon his name will be saved. Make today the day of your salvation if you haven't already, because one thing is for sure, keep looking up. Brothers and sisters, the king surely is coming. Maranatha.